So today we have a very interesting video. We are here on NBA 2K16. Bit of a throwback. A lot of you would consider the best 2K of all time. In my opinion, every 2K has their big flaws. And if 2K16 were to be played today, we would probably all think it sucks because of the amount of flaws we would exploit. But nonetheless, in our minds, all the nostalgia, all that stuff, one of the best 2Ks ever. And today we're going to be reviving Jahil Okafor's career, but a little differently. You guys know the Miracle Wheel series where we, you know, we do that whole shebang bang, whatever it is. We spin the wheel, we do challenges, all that kind of stuff. This video is a little different. We're not really reviving anything here, but we are because we're going back to 2K16, which is when Jahil Okafor was drafted, and we're just going to simulate his career and see the superstar he was supposed to become. If you guys want to see more simulations and, you know, I don't know, just interesting concepts on older 2K stuff like that, be sure to let me know in the comments. Go ahead and like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and yeah, we'll kind of, I'll show you Jahil Okafor, we'll show you just the game in general, and then we'll get into reviving Jahil Okafor's NBA career. So, here's the Sixers. Um, Jahil Okafor, 19 years old 77 overall let's look at some of his attributes in this 2k they had moving shot three and, and uh moving shot mid -range. i mean they have they have those attributes more so with badges in 2k 22 but um yeah jahil okafor had a crazy offensive post bag the problem was with his career is he just couldn't play a lick of defense and like what he was giving on the offensive end just wasn't a big enough return for him to actually be on a roster to play or to you know to be such a liability on defense but anyway i don't know what others think stick guy's got a 90 standing dunk 93 standing layup 80 jaw foul he was a demon in the post man he 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 was a god. 94 hands, 84 post control, post took 83, post fadeaway 72, high offensive rebounding rating for his position. And I'm not sure if I can show you the exact number, but his potential is an A+. Plus. When I started, when I came on the 2K16, I believe his potential was a 93. I bumped it up to a 96, I believe, just to, you know, make it more interesting and see Jahil Okafor turn into the superstar. I don't know, maybe not all of us thought he was going to become, but I, I mean, listen, bro, the way he was killing it in college, I think a lot of us thought he was going to be crazy, and it just didn't work out that way for the process. The whole process thing with Philly, there were some picks that went really well like Embiid and Simmons well we know what happened to Simmons now but you get the point but there were some blunder picks man like imagine if they would have got Tatum instead of Fultz probably could have took a lot of players over to Hill Okafor in this draft process could have went a lot better and especially could have maybe at least made one conference finals appearance since 2001 but that is yet to happen so anyway the rest of the team they got a young Embiid who at this point is very injury riddled he's just kind of in and out of the lineup he doesn't yeah actually this might be his first official rookie season maybe I think he played like 20 games I'm not too sure but um I can't recall his career like that we have Noel I don't know why they have Okafor, Noel, and Embiid. I don't know why Philly thought that was going to work, but you know, you just draft the best available player. I agree with that notion of drafting the best available player and figuring it out, and if you have to end up trading one of them, then you go ahead and do that. But Tony Rowan, he was a demon. He was a bucket. Carl Landry, Covington, and the list goes on. And then if any of you wanted to see the state of the league, I mean, we could just look at some ratings here. Giannis is 79. LeBron's a 94. They were downscaled the ratings a lot in this game. Like, LeBron's the highest overall on the current gen, like, not like MJ or like, you know, like the current players. LeBron's the highest overall at a 94. But anyone else sticking out? This is before Isaiah Thomas went crazy. Like, he was like average of 28 a game so this is a year before that we have Chris Paul Blinker this team was supposed to come close to winning a championship or at least closer than they got and it just never happened because of all the injuries look at this heat team Ugh, white side okay we don't want to talk about him but <laughs> we got Drogic, Bosch and Wade man dang we almost went to the conference finals this year I believe here's some other ratings Paul George 87 Anthony Davis in 92 Drummond 83 this was like almost peak Anthony Davis I think peak Anthony Davis was like 2k 18 maybe or I guess if you want to call Lakers peak but I think probably 2k 18 Anthony Davis or 2018 Anthony Davis and then here's the Thunder with Duran and Westbrook Wiggins, Timberwolves, and they got rookie Towns. And then here's the Warriors with Curry, Clay, and Draymond. Draymond, I think, over the course of the year turned into like an 88 overall, but this is like beginning of 2K16, I believe, so he's not that high yet. And yeah, that's pretty much the makeup of the league, so let's go ahead and get into this revival of Jahil Okafor's career and see if he can become a real superstar. The last point I wanted to make is for every single championship Jahil Okafor wins, I'm going to add $10 to a pot that I'm going to give away on Twitter, so if you want to be a part of that giveaway, go follow me on Twitter, all that fun stuff, and um, yeah, you'll have a shot to win some money. So um, let's go ahead and uh, get into this first season for Jahil Okafor. Oh my god, look how fast this sim process is. Just look, oh my god, that is, oh, I have to turn on automation. <laughs> I'm getting trade offers. And LeBron is the MVP. Okafor, rookie of the year, averaging 18, 9, and 4. He actually had a really good rookie season. I believe he averaged like 15 and 7, uh, around those numbers. He had a very solid rookie season. Six man of the year, Rondo. Defensive player of the year, Dodger Jordan, no surprise. He was one of the best defenders in the league and now is the worst defender in the league. I don't think it's, honestly, I swear to God, I don't think it's close. Most improved player, Lavoy Allen. I remember Lavoy Allen, a coach of the year, Steve Kerr for the Warriors. Here's some of the NBA teams. Lillard, Westbrook, LeBron, Durant, Marcus Gasol. I remember what Marcus Gasol stealing a Defensive Player of the Year award from LeBron, even though he made second team all defense, but one Defensive Player of the Year. Just crazy stuff, man. Anyway, here's the playoff layout. Um, I kind of like what we have now more than, than this one. I mean, maybe if it was like, maybe if you didn't have the social media bar on the right, I don't know. But I do like how it shows like the record, the streak, all the chemistry, finishes, all that kind of stuff on the top right. Or like 2K now on next gen, like it's very limited what's actually on the screen. But the Sixers didn't make the playoffs and the plan 
tournament does not exist. So yeah, there's no play in tournament. So let's see the stats for the team. Okafor leading the team in scoring. We got Tony Road drop 50 in the game. This team is bona fide ass. So I'm not really surprised here. And I guess we'll go ahead and simulate the playoffs and just see what happens. And the Clippers are your NBA champions. Oh, Miami got to the finals. Uh, we were a pretty good team in 2016. We weren't like real. We were kind of like fraudulent contender. Like if we would have got to the conference finals, like Cleveland would have whipped our ass for sure. Clippers won the championship, which they definitely could have got one. I think 20, what, 14 or 15 was probably their best shot, but dealing with injuries and they blew that 3-1 lead to Houston. I don't know if we're in the draft, but again, this is the one issue with doing 2K16 though. I don't have any of the draft classes, so it's going to be all random automated players. So it's the one downfall of this video. It's kind of out of my control. Maybe I could have did some searching. I, I did try to look on the internet for like custom PC draft classes for 2K16, but I doubt I was going to find that and I didn't. So, you know, it, it is what it is, but I'm going to just simulate all the way to player progression. And we'll see how the team looks. All right, player progression. Okafor up four overalls. He's an 81 now. Noel up three. I mean, listen, they, they got to make a decision here. <laughs> one of these guys has to go. I really hope they end up trading one of them or something because this is just absolutely disgusting. This team is so bad. Anyway, here we are in season number two. This lineup again is very bad, but again, you have to remember that they watered down the overalls, but it still is a bad team. We need some guys who can play. Got to trade one of these big guys. I would recommend trading Noel. I don't know. That's just my opinion, <laughs> but um, I guess we'll go ahead and see what the Sixers decide to do. They were in a deep dark hole for a lot of years. They were like at least a solid team up until like 2013 and they just got really ass. After MCW was drafted, it was, oh, it was, it was ugly for a good like four or four years. All right, and Kevin Durant is your MVP rookie of the year. Antoine, again, we, we don't care. They're all fake players. Roy Hibbert, sixth man of the year. Remember Roy Hibbert? That, that's, that is an interesting player. Defensive player of the year, Anthony Davis. He was a beast. Most improved player, Frank Kaminsky. Okay, and Doc Rivers, coach here for the Clippers, man. That, that is a good ass team. Let's see if Jahil Gafor made an NBA team. Oh my God, I was trolling. I was literally trolling. I was trolling. I swear to God, I was trolling. Okay, he actually made third team all NBA in his second year in the league. That is wild. And Kevin Love's on the Miami Heat. I guess I'll take him. That's a fine addition, I guess. But the Sixers were the 11th seed, so no playoff hopes so far. But at least we see the improvement of Jahil Okafor. Let's check out the stats. Okafor having a very similar season that he had compared to the year before. But I guess that was enough to make all NBA third team. He is averaging two blocks a game, which is very much improved on his defensive ability. And Beat is only averaging seven points a game. Like, is he just not getting the ball enough? Okay, this guy Pierre Jackson is averaging 18 a game. Alec Burks dropping 15 a game. Why is not B just not getting the ball? Does Embiid have like a low shot tendency? Wow, they did him dirty. A 56 shot tendency? That is disgusting. I guess it is 2016 and he was always getting hurt. So I guess they were kind of doubting him. So you know what? I, I get it. Anyway, some of these playoffs and the Clippers are back-to-back -back NBA champions. Holy shit. Another finals MVP for Chris Paul. But man, I love Chris Paul and the Clippers, bro. He was so fun to watch. And now Jahil is an 85 overall center. Let's see if any of his like attributes are going up like crazy. His moving shot close definitely looks like it went up. Danny Duck went up too from last time. His jaw foul has gone up as well. He's improved on his passing. Hands are 99 now. He's got the post hook at 94. Post fade at an 84. That's cheese. The defense is still atrocious. Yeah, that needs to be where that, you know, on ball defense 55. That's insane. His block shot though is an 82. So, I mean, that, that's not bad, but he's looking a lot better and this team is not. There has been no moves made to make this team any better and it's just like, we're going to have to wait till for Jahil Okafor just to get crazy. All right, well, season number three of Jahil Okafor's career revival and so far it is, I guess it's going well. He's playing good. He's still in the league. All right, and Kevin Durant is your MVP. Travis Maxwell, rookie of the year. Julius Randle, sixth man of the year. Look at Randle, man. That's tough. Defensive player of the year, Davis. He's probably going to win it every single season. Most improved, Kyle Anderson. Slo Slow Mo? Is that that's his nickname, right? And uh, coach of the year, Paul Westfell for the Brooklyn Nets. Who the hell is on the Brooklyn Nets at this point? What? Anyway, let's see if um our guy, Jahil Okafor, on all NBA second team. Chris Bosh on the Clippers now. What the hell? Okay, it's, it's getting strange out here. Emmanuel Moutier making second team all NBA. He had some crazy potential for sure in these 2Ks. And we're the 10th seed yet again. So, so far in Jahil's career, he's not being able to lead a team to the playoffs, which is understandable. It's only his third year, so I'm not going to blame him, but you know, come on, man. We're trying to win some championships. All right, and Jahil, okay, taking the next step in his career, averaging 24 a game, 12 rebounds, still getting those two blocks a game. He's shooting 58% from the field, and he's now starting to shoot threes. Eh, not really. He's only, he's only something point two a game. Okay, not really like that, but still. Wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's shooting 58% from the free throw line. That is disgustingly bad. Anyway, they picked up Lance Stevenson. Okay, I guess that's not bad. This team is still a mess, and, and Bede, who should be your best player is giving you a solid eight points and eight rebounds so very sorry for killing and beats career but we got some content to do I guess we'll go ahead and submit the playoffs here so not a very good start for the sixers the orlando magic are your nba champions vucevic is your finals mvp averaging 16 points a game okay if vucevic can win an nba championship as the best player on the team then jahil local for my god so can you anyway player progression jahil is now an 88 overall man he is getting inside defense is getting better his iq went up okay not bad and we still haven't really made any pickups, but it looks like Joel Embiid is gone from this team. I don't blame you, bro. I really don't. Like, you, you had no role in this team, so 
you got it. Oh, we have P. Bev. Okay, that's a nice pickup. This might be a playoff team. I'm not gonna lie. This could potentially be a playoff team. We're not bad, especially with the progression of Jahil's career so far. 18 points a game, then 19, then 24 a game, and 12 rebounds. Like he is getting better every single season. And if he can give us anywhere from 26 to 28 points a game, we could make the playoffs. All right, and Curry is your MVP. I think at this point we're in 2019 season. So okay, good for Curry. Cl Cl Anthony Sullivan. There's a, there was a player, Cl Anthony Early, used to play for the Knicks. Um, he was a player. I don't know why I said that, but just letting you know that. Julius Randle, six man of the year, defensive player of the year. What? Okay. <laughs> Most improved, Tony Roten. This is insane. And coach of the year, Doc Rivers. All right, so Talons made the first team win a defensive player of the year, so I guess we're going to be on the second team. Yeah, there we are. And we actually made the playoffs this time. We are the fourth seed, and we won. What was our record? Where, where's the record? 44 and 38. So a very solid season from the Sixers. Let's see the player stats. Okay, so Okafor gave around the same numbers here and there, but he's now at 90 overall, so he's going to be crazy. Patrick Beverly putting up good numbers. Solinger doing his thing. Alec Burst giving us 14 in game. So we can make some noise in the playoffs. Do I think we're a true contender? Eh, I don't know about that one, but maybe Jahil could just carry us. All right, well, we got the Magic in the first round. Here we Oh, wait, could you not in this game simulate game by game? Or uh, is that... I don't think you could simulate... No, you definitely could simulate game by game. Why, why am I not able to simulate game by game? Oh, wait, I know why. Because the automation, automation, automation. Okay, no, no, I, I remember now. All right, here we go. Game one, they take. Game two, we take. Game three, they take. Game four, we take. So we're going to have a SimCast game. We're down 2-3. And it's either this 2K or 15 is the first 2K with SimCast. I know 14 didn't have it for sure. I could have hopped into that. That Sim process went a lot faster than it does in 2K22. So I got to look out for that. But we, we won the game. So we're going to seven. Oakle forward 24, 11 and two. Jared Solinger with 12. 14 and 8. Holy shit. Oh, right. I forgot we're playing NBA champion Vucevic. Like, <laughs> I, I forgot. Like, th like this team really won the championship. That is insane. Anyway, we got ourselves a game 7. So, I got to watch that timer because if it gets close, I'm sure you guys would love to see some content. So, if we get a close game, I'll be sure to hop in. And we might have a content game here. Coming down to the last few minutes. Uh, no. Yeah, we won. Yeah, that's it. Okafor with 24 and 15 in his first game 7 of his career. So, starting out pretty well. And we took down the defending champs. So, we should win the championship. Now, we got the Bulls. Okay. Okay, that's probably Derrick Rose, Jimmy. I don't know if they still have Joakim Noah, maybe Lou Aldang. I don't know, but let's see what we can do. Game one, we take. Game two, they take. Game three, we take. Game four, 2-2 two -two again. So we got to sit and cast it up, and we're up 3-2. Jahil Okafor is on his way of being the best player on this team to being in the conference finals again. I I, I, I messed up the SimCast speed. I did. I forgot it was that fast, but we, we were still we still won convincingly. Okafor with 33-21-3. and three. He is playing out of his goddamn mind right now. And this team still has Jimmy. They got Derrick Rose. They got Todd. Gibson. They got Miritich. Man, Mir Miritich was a sniper, but then he went to go play overseas, I believe. Now we have the Nets in the Commerce Finals. I don't know who they have, but if we get a SimCast game, well, I guess we'll go ahead and figure it out. Game one, we take. Game two, we take. Game three, okay. Um, Wow, this may not even be... Uh, Okay, we're gonna have SimCast. So we'll see if this team... Like, I don't even know, like, Kevin Garnett retired at, like, 2016. Like, I don't even know. Brooke Lopez? Like, is that... Okay, they won that game. Okay, we gotta go seven. I wasn't even looking. I gotta pay more attention, because, again, that, that the speed of that clock goes really fast. Getting down to the fourth quarter, we're gonna lose. Yeah, no, we're, get, we're getting absolutely smoked right now. We're down 20 with three minutes left. Yeah, it's over. So who did they have? Oh, they have DeRozan. Okay, he's pretty good. They got Chandler Parsons, who's solid. Gortad, who's solid. Marcus Smart, who's solid. Terrence Jones. Okay, I don't know about this team being a championship roster. Again, overalls are very watered down, but still, like, this is not a championship team. Anyway, similar to the playoffs, and the Clippers are the NBA champions yet again. They've won three championships, I believe, in four seasons. They are playing out of their mind. All right, player progression. Okafor is now a 91 overall, so he's probably one of the best players in the league. Actually, probably check that in a sec. It won't let me filter by all players, but I guess, okay, so I don't know where LeBron went. So he's probably not better than like LeBron. And he's not better than Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is a 96 overall. He's not better than LeBron, who's in Toronto. I guess LeBron. So, all right, I get it. Uh, James Harden is not better than Harden, but he's a top. Okay, he's not better than Westbrook. He's tied with Durant. I think he's one overall lower than Durant. So he's like a top. He's like a top six, seven player. Curry's better than him. So, yeah, you know. All right, season number five for Jahil Okafor and the Philadelphia 76ers. I mean, team looks cool. It's still a championship contender with Okafor being a 92. So, you know, you just got to give the ball to Okafor, let him do his thing, and hopefully maybe he can win an MVP. All right, and Jahil Okafor, just like I said, goes ahead and wins the MVP, averaging 28, 16, and 6, and two blocks a game still. He played out of his mind. Walt Bull, rookie of the year, Carmelo, 6. Wow, it's gotten that rough. You're an, 80, you're an 88 overall. Why are you a 6, man? Okay, the Knicks must be stacked. Defensive player of the year, Dodger Jordan, Travis Howell, most improved coach of the year, Lion Hollis. We won 53 games, so yeah, we're, we're a pretty damn good team. Obviously, Jahil making first team. I wonder if any other Sixers made a team. Probably not. Yeah, no, we're not that crazy good. But again, best team in the league. We're the first seed. 
speed. So, you know, th this should be our championship run. Let's see how everyone else played. We got Ben McElmore, who was pretty soft for a while. We got Kyle Lowry, a veteran point guard. That is a perfect pickup for this team. That is what's going to take us over to Hump to win a championship here. And we got Dion Waiters, just a straight bucket. Still got Patrick Beverly. So we got a very solid team here. All right, well, we got the defend, not defending, but we have NBA champions, Orlando Magic. Let's get into this one. Game one, they take. Game two, we take. Game, okay, come on. Just real. You know, again, it doesn't matter what 2K you're playing. The sim engine is broken. It, does, it doesn't matter which 2K it is. They will always find a way to screw you over. And they just did right here by letting the Orlando Magic beat us in five games. Let's see what happened here. Oh, Vucevic and Mario Hazonia just had master classes. Okay, yeah, no. Nah, yeah, no. Nah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, no. Nah, you guys you guys were counting for that one, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, that's a that's a bad season. <laughs> and the Magic won the... I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Anyway, player progression. Okafor is now a 93 overall. Larry went down an overall, but that's fine. He's, you know, he's still going to put up big numbers for us and do good, but I guess not in the first round because we're just going to lose to the Orlando Magic, who have won two championships with Usovic. Anyway, season number six. How old is Okafor at this point? He is 24 years old, so he still has plenty of career to go. He was fairly young when he got into the NBA, so he is going to be here for a while. The man's a 94 overall with a plus one overall morale boost, I believe it is, or it's a chemistry boost, so um, yeah, looking good. All right, and Okafor, back-to-back -back MVP. Listen, the playoff success may not be there, but at least we are reviving the man's career and giving him what he deserved, which I don't know about back-to-back -back MVP. Peas, but you know we're giving him the success he deserved well i don't know if he deserved that. i don't y you understand the wording here you just you know we're, we're trying to help that's really what, what it comes down to but anyway he won mvp melvin hines rookie of the year clifton patterson six man of the year down jordan defensive player of the year now on the celtics okay by this time what is it 2021 now you should not be close to being a good defender so i don't know how you're still winning that but anyway most approved evan fournier and byron scott coach here for the lakers okafor obviously on the first team maybe lowry sneaks in on his nba team yeah no nah, i'm just i was just dreaming my bad and we are where are we at we're the second seed wow Wow, okay, the Pistons were bet. Who the hell is on Detroit in 26? Drummond? Is Drummond just crazy now? Anyway, Okafor played great. Solange did his thing. Lowry doing his thing. Did we make any of the pickups? I don't think so. No, but I mean, listen, this is a championship team, especially with Okafor being at 94 overall. And we got Toronto in the first round, who I don't know. Oh my God, is this LeBron? Unless he left Toronto. I don't know. Okay, Toronto takes game one. We take game two. They take game three. Okay, at least the Simcast. I just don't understand how we have a 94 overall on the team. And we're just like somehow just getting our asses busted. Anyway, this game is uh, relatively close. And we're kind of running away with it. I think we got in the bag. Yeah, all right, this is going to be a game seven. All right, so they have LeBron. Okay, all right, all right. You know what? Them having LeBron. Oh, my God. They got this guy, Clancy Anthony Sullivan. He's an 89 overall. This team actually should beat us. I'm not going to lie. They have two 90s. They and they have an 85. They have Noel. They should beat us. But we are praying that they don't because we want to see Jahil Okafor do good in his NBA career. I mean, he's already done very well. But, you know, you, you know what I mean? We, we have higher aspirations. And we're going to the second round. Okafor for with 36 and 21 man he really does show up when it's time i gotta give him that he shows up when it's time to play and typical lebron not showing up when it's time now we have the knicks okay so i guess they have six man of the year mellow i think so um this team should be a pretty deep roster but we'll take our chances game one we take game two they take game three jesus okay wow wow it just why do we keep going down three one it feels like sometimes like the 2k sim has like it'll set a trend for someone's like entire career like you know just like keep doing the same thing over and over again like with like being down 2-0 or being up 2-0 when something bad happens like it just feels like the trend is always happening and we're gonna at least make this a seven game series okafor with 39 19 and 8 the man is literally a god he's like better than Embiid, like ever was in his life <laughs> maybe not on the, the defensive end but you know oh they got old depot oh i like the end they got porzingis they got this guy chip law okay well here we go game seven between the six and the knicks and uh ooh, can we get a content game i really would love to get a content game so we can like get some like content you know what i mean this one's relatively close come on we gotta get it down to a minute a uh, minute left okay we're we're up one with 50 seconds. Let's hop in. Well, here we go. Time to watch some good old fancy smashy 2K16 gameplay. Melo just gives it to Old Depot wide open in the corner. Nice defense, guys. I've been playing a good amount of 2K16, like Blacktop and stuff like that, just for fun. It, it, it is a fun game to kind of go back and play. Okafor in the post working. Oh, my God. He's a foul baiter, just like Embiid. It never changes in Philly. That was a crazy foul bait, bro. That was an insane foul bait. Okafor first free throw. He's not a good free throw shooter. I don't know why he actually did that. Anyway, second free throw. Oh, my God. Oh, before. Okay, he at least made one. And I don't know about you guys, but the graphics on 2K16, just like they just feel better than 22. Like, I don't know if y'all feel the same way, but like it just like looks better to the eye than, than current 2K does right now. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. You guys can let me know how you guys feel about 2K16. And uh, what are we doing? Can we get the ball to Jahil Okafor, please? That'd be a good thing to do. No, Weaver. What the hell is that shot? Mello with the ball. We're going to get game time by uh, this guy. Uh, okay. Uh, Mello in the post. He's going to go to work. He's going to score here for sure. <gasps> he smoked it. Three seconds left. You, you got it. Okay, dude. Just 
Nice, man. Yo, yo, good shot. So now we have the overtime sim cast and uh, staying relatively close. Oh, we're at 440 seconds left. I think we got it in under wrap. Oh, no. Okay, one point game. All right, there, that was a perfect time to stop it. And the Knicks have the... Wait, I thought Philly had the leader. Am I high? Okay, I must have been stupid right there. I thought... Oh, but look at that. It did the double overtime glitch. Mayo driving. Okay, good defense. Mello wide open. Nice, guys. Great defense. Ben McElmore trying to ISO. Please just give Jahil Okafor the ball. Like, th there's no reason he should not have the ball right now. Thank you. Jahil drive. Well, I guess if Porzingis doesn't feel like playing defense, then, you know, we'll, we'll be okay. Now we got to get a steal or they got to brick some free throws. I feel like they'll brick some free throws. I can see that. Come on, man. You can miss a free throw. Just one. Okay. Just one, buddy. He smacked both of those. Okay. Ben McElmore trying to ISO. Three ball. Brick, and that'll do it. Let's see the stats of this game. I mean, Okafor probably played as good as he possibly could. Lowry played amazing as well. We just got beat by Chip Law and Matthew Mayo. This is a good team, so I got to give them their props, but still. I don't know. Stood up a better fight. This guy, Chip Law, has a 99 three ball. That is insane. I don't even think Curry has a 99 three ball in this game. Anyway, we lost in the playoffs, so we'll go ahead and simulate it. And the Lakers have won the championship. Who the hell is on the Lakers? Okay, cool. Like, like, bro, D'Angelo Russell's out here winning championships as the best player. Like, if we can't win one, then I don't know who the hell can. Randolph retiring, Tyson Chandler, Chris Bosh, Mo Will. Let's check out player progression. So this might be Okafor's peak at 94. I'm not too sure, but we got this guy Tyrone Weaver who's up four overall, so he's doing better. Lowry's gone from the team now. And we're now on the season number seven of Jahil. Oh, I guess he went up. Yeah, okay. So he up morale, he was at a 94. So that was a 95. He might be the best player in the league right now. Let me look around. Is anyone a 95 or higher? Okay, 80's a 97. I think he might be the only player better than him. Bro, I don't even know what LeBron is. He might be like an 89 or something like that at this point now. I have no idea. Oh, LeBron's a 91. Okay, yeah, so yeah, he's the second best player in the league currently. And if we can't win a championship with the second best player in the league, then I, I don't know what's going to get it done. And Jahil Okafor is once again your MVP. Has he won it three times in a row? Let's see. Yeah, okay. He literally won it three times in a row. A seven-time All-Star, three times first All-NBA. Mark Humphrey, Rookie of the Year. Melo, Sixth Man of the Year. Again, that just that, that is such an easy award for him to win. Defensive Player of the Year, Anthony Davis. Most Improved, Horace Wagner. And Coach of the Year, Brian Scott, yet again. Okafor on the first team. I Again, I doubt any Sixers will make an appearance. And we won 55 games, so we're the first year. Yet again, I don't know if we're the best team in the league or rank like that. Maybe the Lakers are better. I don't know, but uh, we're a pretty good team. Did anyone step up? I mean, geez, we just have no one averaging over 15 points a game. Like, that is pretty crazy. Like, the only person doing it is Okafor. That's kind of wild. But I guess he'll have the average close to 40 if we want to win a championship. So here we go versus Cleveland. Game one, we take. Game two, we take. Game three. Of course, they got a game. I mean, can we at least... Okay, wow. That's like our first comfortable win in a series. Anyway, now we have Boston. I don't know who bought I guess Isaiah Thomas still, maybe? <laughs> I have no idea. Game one, we take because they didn't draft Tatum because Tatum doesn't exist in this universe. Okay, game three, Boston. Oh, I don't want to say cast. And uh, game four, Boston, game five, and of course. So who did Boston have? Why do we? Okay, Isaiah Thomas doing his thing. They have this guy, Scooter Hollins, Bryce Lampley. Uh, is that Jordan Clarkson? Like, how do we lose to this team? I don't understand. Let's go to some of these playoffs. And Boston, like, bro, like, literally any team is winning the championship, bro. Isaiah Thomas, 84 overall, is out here winning NBA championships. And 95 overall, Jahil Okafor can't even scratch the NBA finals, bro. It, it, it is sickening. All right, player progression. Okafor now is a 95 overall, so I guess he'll be a 96 when we start the season. We got this guy, Weaver, who's up to an 85 overall now. We have a good-ass team, bro. I don't know how we're not winning rings. Anyway, what is this? Season number nine? Eight years pro eight, so I think it's season number nine. Here's some of the badges that he has. He has 16 gold badges. Hall of Fame badges didn't exist in this 2K. I think 2K 18 or I think 17 was the first year of Hall of Fame badges, I believe. I might be wrong on that, but I know it was definitely an 18. But yeah, he's got all the post-move badges. He's got dead eye. He's got defensive crash or offensive crash or scrapper, chase down artist, post-lockdown defender. He, he is a demon. And Jahil, I don't know, is he just going to win in every single season? I want to revive his career, not make it just AIDS. <laughs> the man has four MVPs and no NBA championships. Okay, Simon Slay, Luke of the Year, Carmelo, Sixth Man of the Year, AD, Defensive Player of the Year, Stacey Deli, Most Improved, and Coach of the Year, Byron. This man's won it like four times in a row. Jahil, yet again, I know it's a lot of rinse and repeat. We want to see the man win some damn championships. It just has not happened yet. First seed once again. And here's the stats. Okay, this guy Weaver now is averaging 17 a game. I think this is the first time in this entire career simulation that someone actually averaged over 15 points a game on Jahil Okafor team. Uh, maybe Tony Roten did it one year. I'm not too sure, but that, that's how it feels. But let's see if we can actually take care of business and win one NBA championship. Here we go. Game one. Philly takes. Game two. Philly takes. Game three. Like, bro, why do they have to always get a game on us? 3-2 now. I gotta go simcast with the Wizards. I mean, John Wall is nice. Like, I, I got you on that, but still, I, I, I gotta simcast against the Wizards, bro, and uh, we take that game. I, I didn't mean to hop in. The sim process really is fast. Now we have Detroit, who I don't know. They don't have Cade Cunningham, so I don't know who's on this team. Game one, Detroit takes. Game two, Detroit takes. Game three, that's 
that's awesome, dude. That's all that that's great. That is so great. We're just getting swept with the best player in the world other than Anthony Davis, bro. That's insane. Come to think of it, Anthony Davis has not won anything yet at all. Like that, that's also kind of crazy. Yeah, he's won nothing. So who do they have? They have Travis Matt. Okay, that guy's pretty good. I can't knock that. Stanley Johnson. Okay, he's pretty good. They got Tra oh whoa, this team is actually good. Okay, you know what? They're not a bad team. We just got oh, and then the other Jordan. Yeah, okay. This, this is a good team. I, I understand losing. Maybe not getting swept, but still. Let's see about the finals. And uh OKC won the championship. Who's the finals MVP there? Russell Westbrook. Okay, see, like that's a championship where I can go, all right, that's fine. That we got it on that one. Just out here with Vucevic winning three championships and whoever else has won them, bro. It, it's been nuts. All right, player progression. So I think Jahil Okafor has finally peaked as far as coming out here and uh getting better. So 95 may be the peak, and that's not really bad at all. It's just the team around him needs to get better. And I don't know if that's ever going to happen because it's just like if we're gonna be so good because Jahil's carrying us to the one seed then we're never gonna get young guys and just kind of build around them it's just not going to happen all right this dude is just spamming mvps at this point it just it, it's just getting aids anyway okafor obviously first team again and uh no other sixers here because we don't really have any other talent oh my god remember zach levine in 2k15 i mean it was crazy or was it 15 or was it this year i think it was 15 he was insane anyway first seed again we're the best team in basketball but i mean we've been the best team in basketball for the past like five six years and we still have yet to win a championship the man's just chilling with five mvps bro and just it just has nothing to show for him mean, this guy weaver is getting really good we got this guy warren who's really good Solinger Ben McElmore solid Pat Bev still on the team doing his thing like I don't know how we're not winning anyway here we go against the three-time it was a three or two-time champion Orlando Magic here we go game one we take game two that's us game three of course they have to get a game of course it's two to two okay three to two and I uh, want we'll the sim cast it I just don't understand how we have like probably the best player in the league and we're just like getting our asses smacked and uh we got to go seven games with the Orlando Magic they still have Vucevic who's an 85 they got Ray Neal Trey Burke Tobias Harris this might be one of the most broken 2k sim engines in 2k history it's up there like even two, this wouldn't even happen in 2k20 if i had a 95 overall on my team and their best player was uh vucevic who's an 85 they would probably give me the better for the doubt because they don't even have depth really either like they don't even have better depth than we do so yeah this would never happen it just feels like this sim cast process is like a coin flip like it's just like oh well look at look at this look at this bro like we're losing in the first round to the eight seed like th this sim process this sim engine is a literal coin flip every single game so i guess we're similar in the playoffs again that's another year without winning a championship the Timberwolves are the nba champions uh who won finals talent you know what that makes sense because he's probably like a 93 94 overall at this point so you know what that's fine all right player progression team has not really got much better but again we, we have a really strong big three compared to most teams like we're, we're better than most teams like this is the team that's won three championships like just get that through your head this team won three championships all right season number 11 wow we've gone through a lot of years and he's only 28 years old jesus christ oko four bro you'd be going through it a five-time mvp nine-time all-star five times first team all nba bro you're just missing that championship bro and i'm waiting for you to get it bro so we can get excited about something like we, we get your putting up numbers bro we've revived your career as far as your skill ability but now it's time to prove you could be a top 20 player of all time the five mvps are nice man but we got to get the ring and there goes jahil again having the best year of his life averaging 31 and 16 and 5 shooting 58 percent in the field and his free throw percentage has gotten better he's not hitting the three i mean i don't expect him to but still shooting 70 percent for the free throw line at the start of this career i think he was shooting like 58 so he's gotten better and they're the second seed the bucks were better than us that's insane here's some stats i mean like like, bro, I don't I don't know what else we have to do. I don't know what other numbers Okafor could possibly put up to win a championship. Like, the man has no weaknesses in his game. I guess not having a three ball, but like, man, he has no weaknesses. But it's not going to matter because we're going to lose the boss in the first round probably. Game one, they take. Game two, they take. Game three, we take. Game four, we take. Game five, of course they take. You can just not make this shit up. How many times in the past? Well, actually, we, we've been the first seed or a top two seed every single season for the past like seven or eight years, and we just can't get to the finals. We're going to force a game seven at least. That, that's something. Okafor four drop 56 15 and 9 like what else is this man supposed to do come on 2k give jahil the championship he rightfully deserves and we're gonna be going to the second round thank god okay four now with 46 what's he averaging in the playoffs now he's got to be averaging just crazy numbers he's averaging oh he's only averaging 32 he had a few rough games maybe all right jahil just keep averaging like 50 and you know we'll be fine we got shot in the second round here we go game one we take game two we take game three of course they take game four wow we're gonna actually win a com okay of course it has to go six i was gonna say are we actually going to convincingly win a playoff series as a second seed i was like eh, you know what nah it's all good and we're actually gonna go to a game seven now so who's on this team they got this guy Hor okay this guy's good all right no i'm not even gonna oh my oh my god they have two 90s okay and they got mkg um mkg yeah i said that right look at me um ron fox no they got they got two 90s that, that that's kind of crazy i'm not gonna lie if we lose this i kind of understand that i'm not even gonna trip over it. like uh, they're a good team oh my okay okay i didn't want to get smoked like that that was insane okay for 26 and 12 it was very efficient just you know didn't really do too much there and uh yeah we got dropped off i'm not gonna complain about it and that is in the playoffs and the kings so so the orlando listen to me I, i'm gonna talk into the mic very slowly here the orlando magic the sacramento kings are out here winning 
NBA championship. Who's the Finals MVP? Just let me know. It is Emmanuel, Emmanuel Moody Day. Moody Day is out here winning Finals MVPs and NBA championships over 95 overall. Jahil Okafor dead in his prime, dropping 30 a game. I don't know. You can't make it up. All right, player progression. Team is not getting any better, but again, I don't think the team really needs to get any better. We have a 95 and an 88, and we got some 80s. I think that's more than enough to win a championship, so I'm not going to complain about the team development or anything like that. It is now what? Season number 12 for Jahil Okafor. We have been through a lot. Wait, let me just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, this is going to be season 11. Okay, I'm tweaking. My bad. Okay, but anyway, he's had a pretty amazing career so far, but just no real playoff success. I mean, he's had playoff success. He's been to the finals one time, I believe, right? He, he got to the finals one time, right? unless I'm like drawing a blank here, but no, he's, he's competed. It's just a lot of a lot of choke jobs, man. I don't know if it's really his fault or just the 2K sim match. I don't know, man, but we got to hopefully just get at least one ring out of this video. And Jahil is the MVP again, bro. This man has seven MVPs and can't win a championship. That is insane. And we're the fourth seed now. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Let's see the stats here. Okay, he's averaging 25. So I guess I kind of get it. So his production with that, we picked up all oh, deeper. That's a nice ass pickup. Okay, I, I like that a lot. Like, I, I, again, I don't know how we're not winning games. But let's see how this goes. We've got Toronto in the first round. They don't have LeBron anymore. So um, I don't know who the hell they have. Game one, we take. Game two, we take. Game three, Toronto. Game four. Wow. Okay, we're gonna win it. Wow, we actually won a series convincingly. Now we have Charlotte. Oh, they have those two 90s. If we lose to them, I'll, I'll, I'm not gonna be mad yet. They they have a good team. Okay, they're up 2-1. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. Okay, 3-2. All right, we got a shot. Unless they don't have those two 90s anymore. If they don't have those two 90s anymore, then I, I take back what I said. But, um, you know, maybe we could force this to a game seven, and we will. Wow, what happened here? This is a very balanced scoring game from everybody. Good job. And do they still have those two guys? They got this guy. And yeah, they still do. Are we gonna lose another game seven to the Hornets back to back years? Well, this could be content. Coming down to it. It's a two point game. I'm just trying to, ooh, a minute left, two-point game. You know what? Let's play it out. Well, here we go. Two-point lead. You, you just give the ball to Jahil Okafor. Oh, is that is that Cousins guarding him? I think that's Cousins. Anyway, that should just be barbecue chicken. And wow, Jahil. Oh, good pass. Good dime. All right. You know what? That's fine. We're going for it. Anyway, who does this? Oh, they have the 290 overall. So um, I, I don't know what they're good at. So I guess we'll find out. Wagner, pull up midi. Got it. All right. Well, I guess that guy's got a midi. Again, don't waste any time. Just post up Okafor. Have him go to work. I like that the 2K sim understands what to do. Okafor post fade. <laughs> oh, oh, that's insane. That Those kind of animations do not happen in newer 2Ks. There's so many more ball bouncing animations in these older 2K games. Like, different types of shots going in and weird animations. In 2K22, there's like, like what, like three or four different ball animations. But I think we got this one under wraps and we're going to the conference finals. All right, Okafor, this may be the year for you. Let's see the stats. Wagner with 21. What, what did our guy Okafor do? 30 and 15, bro. I got to give the Okafor, bro. He always plays big when it's time to. I got to give him that. Now we have Chicago in the conference finals. They're the sixth seed. That is something. Game one, we take. Game two, we take. Game three. Wow, we just smoked them, didn't we? Okay, they got a game. Good for them. All right, we, wow, we are back. I think we went to the NBA Finals. I'm like so certain I remember us being in the NBA Finals. But if we weren't, my bad. But we are in the NBA Finals. We're playing Portland. Who is on Portland? The Blazers have, they got a pretty deep team. This is a very solid team. This is one of those teams where 2K would suck them off and let them win this series. But you know what? Okafor has something to say about that. Here we go. Game one. We take. Game two. We take. Game three. Okay, well, this is going to be a... Uh, um, uh, I guess we'll simcast. I'm sure some of you guys want to see the ceremony. So hopefully we take care of business here in game four so you guys can actually witness it. Coming down to the wire here. Might be a content game. 38 seconds left. Ah! You know, we'll take our loss. We're just gonna take our loss. I didn't see a point of hopping in. Like, if it was like a three-two series, or even if we were all only up three-one, I would hop in. But like, look at this. Like the next game. Oh my god, I almost didn't hop in, but we're gonna see the ceremony. Go to work, go for it. Ready? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Hezzy. Watch it. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oka four. I'm tough. Let's go. Oh. Oh, man, and the Philadelphia 76ers are your NBA champions for the first time in, like, what, 40 years? They won the last championship in 1983, so more than 40 years was the last time they were able to win a championship. It's been almost 25 years since they went to the finals, and Jahil Okafor, it's been a while, bro. It only took seven MVPs just to get you one ring, but, you know, kudos to you, man. Anyway, here's the celebration. Yeah, man, at least we can see it. Unlike in 2K22, where it just shows us crowds sometimes when a championship happens. Look at this. Very nice. Okay, for her off the trophy. Flex in the finals MVP. Man, this is this is this is a classic thumbnail picture right here on my old thumbnails on like 2K17. Anyway, box score. Okafor having a great game. 25 and 22. Four blocks, two steals, and we were able to take down the cheese known as Zach Levine. His dunk's probably 99. I just want to go ahead and uh, go ahead and check that. Only an 83. I guess he's 31 years old now, but damn, he had like a he, 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 in 2K15, I think he had like a 99 dunk. So now since the Sixers won the championship, we're gonna add $10 to a pot. And um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and keep going.
keep going. I don't know how much longer we're going to go because it is getting kind of repetitive. I'm not going to lie to you guys. We're just him winning every MVP every single season. I don't know. We're going to keep going uh, maybe a few more years and just see how it kind of pans out. It's so crazy, too, that like in the newer 2Ks, like players move so often, which makes sense because players move a lot in the real NBA. But like in these older 2Ks, like uh, a superstar will almost never leave their team. Like literally, unless the team literally cannot afford the player, they will never leave. All right. Well, here we are for season number, I think, 12, I guess. Yeah, we're on season number 12. So it took him 11 seasons to win a championship. That is insane. That is awful. I'm not going to lie. And Jahil won the MP again. I, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like, it, it, it is it is like brain damaging the, for me to just keep watching Jahil win an MVP, bro. So I don't know if I'm just mentally getting checked out of doing this video because the same thing keeps happening over and over and over again. So, you know, it just, it, it, it just, it's just tough. Did he win Defensive Player of the Year? What the fuck? What, what, what the hell? Did he start winning those and I haven't been watching? Or was that the first one he won? Let me go ahead and see. Defensive Player of the Year. Yeah, that was the, that was the first one he won. And we're the first seed now winning 55 games. Here's some of the player stats. Yeah, again. And also not being able to have like current draft classes to see other young rookies grow up and be good like Tatum and like I don't even know. The list goes on of God. I don't know why I only named Tatum, but you get the point. It's all fake players, which is another bad part about it. Anyway, let's submit these playoffs. Here we go. Game one versus the Pistons. They take. Game two, they take. Game three. I don't know why the Pistons just like seem to keep having our number for some reason. And uh, we're going to the second round. Now we have Atlanta. Here we go. Game one, Atlanta takes. Oh, I did not want to simcast. Game two. Okay, that's us. Game three. We might we might go back to back here. Not bad. Okay, or or not. Okay, we, we won in six. And now we have the Bucks. Game one, we take. We're going back to the finals 100%. Yeah, we're, we are 100,000% going back to the final. Okay, or not. Okay, we have a game seven. Maybe Giannis has something to say about it. Giannis turns into like an all-star in this sim, not like a crazy superstar like he is now in the NBA. This might be a content game though. We, 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 this has potential. A minute left. You know what? This is the last bit of good content for the rest of this video until I sim to the end of his career because that's probably what I'm going to do because again, it's getting very rinse and repeat for me right now. And I, I don't know, like there's no reason for me to stick it to me. We, we revive the man's career. The man's won eight MVPs. Like <laughs> I, I, I think we've done it at this point. Jahil is wide open. Jahil on Giannis. Oh, I almost got the air one. Jahil has gotten better as a free throw shooter, so he should knock these down with ease. Give us one more, Jahil. There we go. Good job, buddy. Let's see if Giannis could actually do something. That would be cool to see. I think he's an 89 overall right now. Humphrey driving pull up midi. Okay, cool. Okafor's wide open. Okay, he didn't throw it. Cool. Wow, the Sixers really do just post up Okafor every single time on the sim. That, I mean, that I like that because it has the star player getting involved when we watch the simcast games. But at the same time, it's like, damn, y'all gonna run anything else? Like, you gonna get a little more creative? It's a double-edged sword. Anyway, Okafor. Oh! That right there is why you're the defensive player of the year, isn't it? Okay, I got you, bro. My bad. Look at this. They just spam post ups with Okafor. They just, they literally clear everyone out. Okafor goes to work, and that was a brick. Jesus Christ. 13 seconds left. We're up three. I mean, they're going to need a three. Giannis, you want to pull one, bro? Um, okay. Or not. This guy Burns has a 9-9-3. Okay, don't let that guy shoot. Uh... Good D. All right, that's game. All right, all right, we're going to the finals. Okafor with 28, 7, and 6. We got... Oh, my... Oh, my God. Well, they tried to beat us. They, they definitely gave it their all here in game 7. I'm not sure how we won this game, but uh, yeah, that guy had 56. And now we have the NBA Finals versus the Mavericks. They don't have Luka, so let's see who they got. They have Simon Slay, Walt Bull. This team sucks. Like, we should smoke this team. Here we go. Game 1, we take. Game 2, they take. Game 3, what? Game 4. You just can't make this shit up. Finals MVP, Simon Slade taking down the best player in the world. Okay, so I'm going to sit end of Jahil Okafor's career because, again, this is getting repetitive for me. You know, I do all these creative ideas as far as, like, the, the Miracle Wheel and, like, other rebuild, crazy creative rebuilds ideas because, you know, they're fun for you guys, but also it keeps it fresh for me. And just doing, like, a normal career something like this isn't really that fresh. But, you know, it is a fun concept to bring it back to 2K16. But I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of over it now. So we're going to sit the end of his career and um, see all the accolades he has. Okay, and after 19 seasons, Jahil Okafor has officially decided to retire so let's go over and look at his stats so he was a 12-time mvp yes 12 times he won two championships so i saved you a lot of grace there he ended up winning one more so good for him all-star 19 times made it every single season first team all nba 13 times second team three times defensive player of the year three times first team all defense six times rookie of the year and first team all rookie his career high was 61 uh steal six blocks nine he made two threes in a game he attempted 22 free throws in a game and he made 16 of them okay offensive rebounds 14 defense rebounds 12. i feel like 
he had more rebounds than 23 in a career game. Maybe this is just regular season. I'm not sure. Re oh, okay. Rebounds in general, 30. Okay, that makes more sense. Assist 15. Wow, that's a lot. And uh, minutes played 47. That's not true either because he played 50 minutes in a playoff game. And Jahil Okafor was brought into the NBA's Hall of Fame. This game doesn't seem to have like a bunch of NBA records, like the top 100 in total points of all time. Like they just have single game records, playoff game records. Um, And Jahil Okafor is not on any of these. So I don't really have any awards to show you. He was in Philly the entire time and did nothing. I can't believe he didn't move to Philly one time. But again, in these older 2Ks, star players rarely ever move. And in new 2Ks now, they move all the time. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this career revival of Jahil Okafor's career. Um, You know, this was cool to do. I just wanted to get on 2K16, a throwback 2K, and try something different out. So, um, yeah, that's what... Well, sorry, I don't know why my throat's being crazy, but that's what we went ahead and did. Now, on the creativity scale for this video, it's definitely on the lower end of videos that I do. And that's because, I don't know, you just want to throw in a simple video here and there. But you know what? It ends up the creative ideas, you know, pique my interest. And they keep my interest high throughout an entire video, just like I'm assuming with you guys when I drop a creative-ass video. You guys watch it like that. So, um, I hope you guys took something from this and enjoyed it somewhat. Maybe you just enjoyed the conversation we had about 2K16 for the past 2Ks and saw Jahil before it get better and the A's game that 2K is with not letting us win championships. But um, here are the cash app screenshots of the $20 because you want two championships. So um, I don't know if I just gave it to one person or two. I don't know what I did. So um, those are the screenshots on the screen. But um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, after this video is dropping, um, break a fourth wall here. A big video should be dropping very soon. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. And um, yeah, all right. One finger, one pinky, one thumb, one love. I'm out. Peace. Fade to black. And um, yeah, not touching the 2K16 my league for a while. That was that was disgustingly. T that was crazy. Like, is it 12 MVPs? Like, no, that, that's.